yeah, kind of. We're here in Bath for the first Lego. Yeah, if you. Well, then, sure, you want the game down. Well, yeah, if someone says I can't hear you, I'll. And engineering is all about. So it's sparking that enthusiasm at the young age. Also, very important is. To be for honest, Colin, there's a bit of a battle of Star Wars going on here Darren. today. Because all the way from Spain, we have the one and only R2D2! Fantastic! Not only do we have R2D2 from all the way from Spain, I said there was a Star Wars theme going on today, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, because all the way from the USA, the Jedi Engineers! Wow! Just theoretical. Yes. That's really engineering. Creative right? problem solvers. There you go. Yeah. Creative problem solvers. <laughs> and, and and to be fair, there's a lot of a lot of people out there now talk about um, there are great engineers coming through from the creative arts and from other areas as well, yeah. and working as teams with engineers yes. yeah, yeah. because you can. I think we've got a live show coming up now for you. So let's have a look at this run. Uh, I think we're here on table eleven. Uh, I think we might have a Spanish team R two D two. We've got R two D two here with us as well. But let's have a look what they do. So again. This might be, I think that is, I think that is yes, the... Yes, that is the, 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 R2, R2-D2. That is R2-D2 there, brilliant, it says on their T-shirt. <laughs> um, and again, it's a small robot, this. It's not one of the massive ones. So they, no, they, they, it's not. We saw a beautiful very, fish tank. Very reliable. The small robots can be a lot more reliable than the big ones. And smooth as well. That smooth, was really yeah. smooth. It didn't look the... nifty. They can work their way through the missions rather than just going to over them. I mean, we saw there that, that fish tank was pushed really nice. So there's our little friend being sent out. They're, they've got the bee on top of the hive. Yeah, bee on top of the hive. They put the pig in, in the farmyard there. Absolutely perfect. Yeah. Uh, the, the, our little friend, should I say. It looks like they've got their um, gecko or the white animal on the um, robot, which means it looks like they're going to try and hang on the wall. In, literally in one go. This is incredible. Yeah. So they've picked up all of the farmers there. They're putting those... Yeah, put them down. ...on the gravel, which they've got to add the manure to. Yeah. Oh, that was unlucky. They just moved it by touch yeah. before they got there, didn't they? How well are they going? This is an amazing run because it's doing it all in one go. I know, I know. That's Straight right. over. This looks like it could be going for the gecko. Yes, they're I think dropping it is. the gecko. Oh, oh no! That was so close. It literally, you just saw it bounce yeah. against something there, and it knocked it off the end wall, didn't it? It can be really unlucky. Some of the things that happen, um, just, just unlucky. Something gets good. in the way, yeah. absolutely. Just one Can't little bump. It. Yeah, so annoying, but you know, that's the. the and here thing. you can see they're now changing one of the attachment points there. I, yeah, I think they moved the sensor, which is quite interesting. So, um, sensors can be really useful in. Um, because as you can see, they're using four light switches there um, to work their way around in the black lines. Wow, that was, uh, that was a really good close up example yeah. there. And there you can see this rotary arm that's moving. Looks that's like this, Oh no, it might be moving again. A little bit of debating with the referee there. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it looks like it might be a bit stuck. I, I think that's doing it. That's really odd, isn't it? Because that looks to me like that should be moving it round and round. The judges yeah. will get involved here. You can see the team there talking to the judge. Yeah. And it could be that actually the mechanism has gone wrong there on our... Yes. our we've got one here for you to have a look at. The idea is that you... Um, I think you have to take the lock. Is, yeah. If I got the up. lock on, I think I might have the lock on here. Let's Solving <laughs> problems is really what an engineering is all about. So it's sparking that enthusiasm at the young age. Also very important is for parents and teachers. <laughs>
Vamos, 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 vamos. 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 Vale, vale, vale. We're here in Bath for the first LEGO League. Thousands of teams across the globe have battled for a place. 93 teams have made it here today and they've been refining their robots for months. It all comes down to this. Where are you from? What's your team name? The Dodo Bots! Robo Echo! talk all the time about getting children involved in engineering. If you look around you today, these kids have got fantastic projects. If you look at their programming and the robots they've designed and built, they're just doing it and they're really enjoying it as it's happening. It's not about talking, it's not about what's the best way to do it. First Lego League just makes it happen. What is it that you like about engineering and this competition so much? So, I very much enjoy the problem solving part of engineering. It's just really fun to try to think of different solutions for different problems. I like about engineering that it enables me to do what I want, that I can create cool things by my own. The ideas in your mind, like what you keep dreaming of, what you keep thinking of, you can do it in real life. They absolutely embrace what the whole festival is about. They all seem to mingle and merge together and all dance and sing and, and enjoy the competition. First LEGO League is all about really exciting students into understanding real world situations and it brings students together at school to really understand engineering, science, technology and that can help them choose engineering, technology and science subjects in the future as a career choice and really get them excited at this stage about things that they can help to solve problems for in the future. You go around the different booths and you look at these kids and you look at what they've done, you look at the, the robots when they're going, doing their courses and the different choices each of the different groups have made and you just kind of sit back and you go, these, these are the future leaders of our world, these are the future innovators of our world. The project research and getting to go out on field trips and seeing experts in the field and having that conversation, it's amazing. Solving problems is really what an engineering is all about. So it's sparking that enthusiasm at the young age also very important is for parents and teachers to see what it's doing for their children so that they understand how they can perhaps help to support, inspire and indeed influence their children in choosing their careers later on. I joined the competition when I was 
14 years old and that showed me a side that I didn't know. I learned about programming and all of that and I'm passionate by it now and I think first Legolith showed me that and now I want to be an engineer because of it.